All right, so in my last video, I cleaned the throttle body. And another issue I was having with the Forerunner, it was really intermittent, was the, um, the idle air control was acting up. And what it would do is it wouldn't, it would idle extremely low and then it would stall. And it would only do it maybe once or twice a month. Never would throw a code for it or anything. But I had thought about taking it off and cleaning it. This is it down here. It's on the bottom of the throttle body. And there's four screws that hold it on. But really to get to it, you got to take the throttle body off. So, thought about cleaning it. Well, after I clean the throttle body now I've got a high idle issue which you know, in my last video I had a check engine light for the throttle position sensor but it, from testing the throttle position sensor it looked okay and a mass air bad or dirty mass airflow or dirty throttle body can cause the throttle position code so I cleaned the throttle body and the mass airflow sensor after doing that, I've got a high idle issue. And high idle can be a problem uh, related to a bad throttle position sensor, or it can be a problem with the um, idle air control. So, I think what I'm going to do, I think what I can do is um, I'm going to take the since I've already had some issues with the idle air control I'm going to take it off and clean it because I'm thinking maybe when I clean the throttle body some junk got in there because it would run down into the idle air control some stuff got in there and it could have gummed it up a little more so I'm going to take it off take the throttle body off take that off and clean it and uh, we'll see if that takes care of the high idle issue and the stalling or the the low idle that it had intermittent uh, and I probably won't know that for a while because it it really is intermittent so uh, to get the throttle body off we'll probably have to take we're gonna take the air tube off again and um, all I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to leave all the cables and stuff attached to it because really all I need to do is just leave it and rotate it to get to it. So I'll undo like these hoses and stuff but a lot of the other throttle cable and stuff like that I think I can leave connected and uh, I might have to undo some of these wires because they're kind of short. But well I can undo the throttle cables because they're pretty easy to get undone. But uh, I'm gonna try without it first and see. So let me um, get started and I'll start by taking these four bolts off and take this tube off I've got a little crack on this rubber piece up here and um, it's not far enough back you know it's far enough where it seals on the throttle body and I've put some glue right there so I'm probably gonna try to leave this piece on the throttle body just to keep from disturbing it until I can order one of these um, I saw that yesterday when I took the took this piece off it had started to crack this rubber on here is getting deteriorated this piece is fine and this is fine so I'll undo it here and these will slip up in here a little more I can slip these out get this piece out and just leave this attached to the throttle body and it won't be in the way like that I've got it off and um, because I had the four bolts and I went ahead and undid the throttle cables there's a vacuum line underneath and the uh, the actual idle air control valve has that has a vacuum line and then two coolant lines. So I've got took the radiator cap loose and didn't lose much coolant, but I've just got this one propped up. I've got an extension in this one to kind of keep it elevated so I don't lose much coolant. Got all the wires undone. So here's the underneath of the throttle body with the four screws removed from the idle air control. And it's got a coolant side which heats the um, throttle body, and then it's got the um, one you know the vacuum side, and then the throttle body side. This one's where it lets um, air into the throttle body, or 
let's see this is the engine side on the other side of the throttle plate and this is on the intake side so this would be the clean air coming from the air cleaner and it would just this thing's got a little cam in it it turns you can see it's can you see that you can see it's open just a little bit there and so it just rotates it's like kind of like a half circle little cam and it turns and adjusts how much air goes from this side to this side or actually this is the clean air side so this side to this side it looks pretty gummed up in there so we're just going to clean that out the throttle body has a metal gasket and it looks fine and this has a little o-ring it looks fine I'll put some uh, Vaseline or something on it to uh, kind of condition the o-ring and reuse it it still seems pretty good if I was replacing the valve I wouldn't reuse the o-ring but since I'm just cleaning it I'll reuse it it still seems rubbery it's not hard or brittle or anything so it's still sticking up it's not pushed down you know recessed anywhere so I'll clean this up and then I'll clean all this up one other thing what I was saying when I cleaned the throttle body see I sprayed cleaner all in here and cleaned it with well, this little port going down is this one right here that leads right into this idle air control so I think what happens when I clean the throttle body all the nasty uh, carbon and all that kind of stuff went down in here and kind of gummed it up so that's what we're going to clean out all right so here you can see there it is all cleaned up and um, I think it was a little gummed up you can um, See the other thing there? See it opening? Go get something to drink. You see, now it's open. So quick it closed. Before, it was real slow so I think it was gummed up went ahead and cleaned the throttle body more while it was off and I got the little o-ring off while I clean the throttle body keep from getting carburetor cleaner on it I will uh, put this back on and mount this back on the throttle body all right, got the four screws back in, and we'll just slip the throttle body back on. All right, so got the two coolant lines hooked up. Hook those up before I slid the throttle body on, and I've got the vacuum line hooked up. And cables hooked back up. Got a vacuum line here. I'm just gonna slide this on four bolts in and all of our connectors and the intake boot I went on and did this coil wire to slide it off just hitting that all right we're idling now so that took care of it um, Smoking off the intake there that it's filled, and then topped off the radiator and overflow. And we 
up to a normal operating temperature now. Topped it off with some Toyota coolant. Set everything back together. Maybe a new boot, but it's not leaking. Weather strip, weather strip it is adhesive on the crack. The problem is I have to order it, so it's not like I can go to a parts store and grab one. About at 900, and we are at operating temperature. RPMs. Seventy five degrees air intake. Throttle position. So, we're going to just let this thing go and see if it throws any more codes. Um, all the codes, of course, are cleared out of it right now. And it seems to be working just fine. Um, so, I'm not going to replace anything until, you know, I get another code. Because the throttle position sensor seems to be working fine you know going by my scan gauge from the previous video so and the uh, hopefully the idle problem that I had the uh, idle air control will be okay after cleaning it because it was pretty gummed up anyway thanks for watching